Hey everyone, this is Lasora, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create the dolly zoom or the vertigo effect using Final Cut Pro 10. Let's get right into it. This effect works best when you have a steady moving shot, and right in front of me is a sample footage of a drone shot moving forward. So first thing we're going to do here is go to the beginning of the clip, select it, head over to the video inspector, under transform, add a keyframe to the rotation by clicking this diamond icon right here. Press the down arrow key to skip to the end of your footage, and then change the rotation value to either minus 10 or 10 degree. Once you've got that, scale your footage up to 130%. Moving on, let's add some vertigo effect to it. Simply bring out the crop tool by pressing the drop down menu right here. Select crop. Set the crop function to Ken Burns by clicking here. Adjust your crop. Reposition your crop slightly upward and use the yellow line as a guideline. Press done or simply hit enter on your keyboard. And here's the result. Let's say you have a footage that moved backwards. Same rule applies here. Press the up arrow key to go to the beginning of your clip. Select it. Go up to the video inspector. Under transform, add a keyframe to the rotation. Press down arrow key to go to the end of your clip and then change the rotation value to either minus 10 or 10 degree. Scale your footage to 130%. Bring out the crop tool. Select Ken Burns. Adjust your crop and reposition it slightly upward using the yellow line to help guide you through. Once you've got that, select inverse by clicking this icon at the top left corner here and then click done. Let's take a look at what we've got. And that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you find this video somewhat helpful. And if you did, please leave it a like and also subscribe for more short Final Cut Pro tutorials like this one. And also don't forget to turn the notification by pressing the bell icon so you don't miss any of my updates. Best luck with your project, stay creative, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.